Happy Friday, Millbrook. I'm standing here in our prior Bradford building uh, by one of my favorite spots. I love walking by this interesting piece of tree, this interesting piece of art, and this interesting piece of our church's history in the halls here. Whenever I see a tree that's been sawed in half like this, it takes me back to being a child on many Girl Scout camping trips and hiking trips where we would learn about nature. And I remember learning that each ring around the tree trunk marks a year of its life. It shows its progress. It's so interesting to see how long these trees in our neighborhood, these trees at our church, these trees in the forest have withstood the elements. So today I have um, a little piece of writing from the Magnolia Journal. Um, God speaks to us in all different places in all different ways. And this is reflecting on the beauty of a tree trunk. This is called Proof of Living. When we look closely at the rings of a tree, often we can perceive more than just the length of its life. Woven into the variations of colors are clues about the years that were rich with rain, as well as those that were dry. Signs of bounty, perseverance, and survival. This piece of nature feels especially apt when we look at the themes of our year. Purpose, risk, rhythm, and rest. There is peace that comes with acknowledging that we are not meant to have rings that measure evenly from start to finish, but that in the varied size of each ring in, the, the ever-changing conditions of each year is the real proof of living. This got me thinking both about our life and the life of the church. This tree trunk here shows some of the high points of our church. When we bought this land that our church sits on, it marks the founding of, of the Methodist men and the preschool being built, the education building being built. But it also marks low points for our community and for our church and its members like the cyclone and the lightning strike and the fire. Our stories, while they are filled of beautiful and terrible moments, are still beautiful when we reflect and look back. As I think about what we might think looking back on this year, dry spells, times of doubt, times of fear and anxiety, it's okay that we've had this experience. It has not been blissful or joyful, and sometimes it has not felt peaceful. But as we start a new ring on our tree, as we start this new phase of our life, we are looking towards the future with hope. Every time I hear of someone getting the vaccine, I do a happy dance, sometimes literally and sometimes mentally, because it means we're one step closer, one person closer to being through this time of separation and isolation. I'm finding joys in new ways, and while I look back on this year full of fear and anxiety, I see new beginnings. I see getting my first job as a pastor, and it fills me with joy and pride in this church that has welcomed me in. So while our rings may not start and end in perfect circular motions, the years have been filled with bittersweet moments. And looking back as we reflect, I hope, like the trees, it shows our strength, our perseverance, our resiliency, and the beauty that it is to be made by God. <laughs>